Hello everyone, my name is Rosie and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very, very, very exciting video. This is actually a collab with a fellow collage artist YouTuber, Leah from Flanzella. I reached out to her and asked if she wanted to swap collage materials and she said yes. So a couple weeks ago, I put together a bunch of images from my collection and shipped them off to Canada and she did the same. I got a package full of images and I'm so excited to go through them today. When collecting images, I try to include a good mix of subject matters and styles, pulling colorful vintage flower paintings and illustrations, black and white photos from old life magazines, home decor scenes, animals, mushrooms, dolls, and everything in between. I aimed to pull at least one page from every book that I own to maximize the variety. I also included a few postcards because I find those are very fun to work with. I did very briefly unwrap the package and put them under a big pile of books a couple of days ago to flatten them out because they did come in a tube. But I tried really hard not to look at them. I just kind of put them under the books and walked away. So I'm very excited to finally thoroughly look through them today. So my goal is to make two collages today. I want to make one using just images from what Leah sent me. And then I think a second one where I want to use mostly images from what she sent me, but I also am going to allow myself to use some other images from my collection to sort of supplement that. So I think creating two collages today is a good goal. Also, if you want to see what Leah made from the images that I sent her, go check her channel out, check out the video that she made using my supplies. I'll link it in the description and in the pinned comment down below. And while you're there, check out Leah's other videos. She makes great collage with me content, studio vlogs, tips and tutorials, and I love hearing about her art process. I love her collage style and her pieces are beautiful, full of whimsy and humor, and are often truly insightful. If you enjoy my videos, I think you'll really like Flanzella's channel, content and art. And if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to her channel. Let's get into looking at these images and see what we can make. All right, let's dive into this. I gotta move all these books. <laughs> I also got a very nice note and a print from Leah. Love that, thank you so much. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some nice people here. They might be nice subjects. Oh, I love these. I love that woman's dress. That is so cool. Oh, a nice brick pattern. This kind of looks like a some sort of print or something. That's cool. Oh, I love these. Oh, what's this? Oh my God, these like business grasshoppers. Those are so fun. That is so funny. Oh, that's cool. All right, here's some bunch of other random stuff. Oh my God, cheese! I needed this cheese for the rat digging into the moon. <laughs> that piece. Oh, we got a yoga girl. All right, lots of subjects. This is great. Oh, some cool leftovers of this pattern. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Lots of abstract sort of textures. Not something I usually gravitate towards, so I really like all of these different textures. Ooh, a puffin. Another puffin. Oh, wait, that's not a real, that's like a sculpture of a puffin. <laughs> Some bees. Ooh, that's nice. There's a lot of great images in here. This is great. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I feel so inspired already. Oh my God, the woman with the toilet. Why do I always want to use the weirdest stuff? I wish this was a little bit bigger, but we might have to use it. It's so funny. Okay, I love that. <laughs> Those are cool little scenes. Ooh, sheet music. 
This is something I've never really used, but I've always kind of thought it might be nice as like a really cool texture in the background or something. This is really interesting. This is a really cool about exchanging images with someone is they're gonna pick and be drawn to things that you might never be drawn to. Like I don't think I would have ever picked up shoot, sheet music in a store or something, but the fact that it's here might make me want to use it. I love this kitchen, that's really cool. Oh, and this piano player. There are some really cool images in here. I'm, I am like ex so excited yet also very overwhelmed. That is perfect place for something. Like what weird thing can we put next to her on this couch? Like that's just asking for her to be sitting next to like a walrus or something. Like that's just begging for something cool. All right, what an incredible haul. Also a lot of cats. I really love, love that. All right, there are so many cool images in here. I feel like I need to take a second, look through everything, maybe a little bit slower. I wanna pull out, I think my favorite things and we'll start there. I feel like I didn't even see that image. That's why I feel like I have to look again. Let me pull out some of my favorites and we'll go from there. I always feel like that's a really fun way to start is just pick out the things you're really inspired by. But wow, we have, there's no shortage of possibilities in this pile, that's for sure. All right, let's chat about a couple ideas that I had. So I do really want to try to use the sheet music. I've never used sheet music before in a collage and I just think it's really cool and I would love to try to use it. And I thought the perfect pairing to that would be this piano player. And maybe we can do something where we cut the sheet music in a sort of more artistic way and it flows out of the piano in an interesting way. Or maybe it's just a background and we do something else. Both of these pieces are black and white. So it might be nice to try to add one third Third element that has some color in it. So that's the first idea. The second one is this woman who's sitting on the couch. I thought we need to find something to put on this couch, but also I thought we could put this whole living room in a different scene. So I have this picture of bears and I thought maybe we could take the living room out with the rug and everything and put this right on the bear scene. And then I might try to find a bear picture in my collection of one that might be sort of looking like it's maybe standing on the this couch or sitting on the couch, a bear in kind of a fun pose. I might have something like that in my collection that I could add to this. I will probably work on this last and go hunting for bears in my own supplies if we go that direction. And then the last one, I really loved this poker table and these guys sitting around it. And my immediate thought was we have to have something coming out of this poker table. It's sort of just the perfect environment to have something coming out of it. And I also thought maybe we could cut the background out and put it on something a little bit lighter. Overall, this image is a little bit dark, so I think we could brighten it up by putting on a different background. And I did find one thing that I thought might work to come out of the poker table. Now, I have to be careful. The top of this image is wildly inappropriate, so I'm gonna cover it up. But in the pile, I found this scuba diver who is climbing out of this body of water. And I thought that he would be fun to be coming out of the poker table. He's looking up. I like that we might be able to get some of this texture of the water in the poker table. And he could be climbing up like past the people. And then maybe whatever we use in the texture above the poker table that we cut out of the, this image could have blue in it or something to tie in the water. I'm not exactly sure about that part yet, but I thought these two images might work well together. So we'll see if that works. Let me just cover this right back up. So those are the three ideas that I have. I'm gonna start exploring, I think these two and we'll leave the bears for after and we'll see how these come together. All right, let's try this again. Oh yeah, that's really nice. That's really funny. I do think we could go down even a little bit lower and then I do have to cut out a little bit around here. This is all dependent on 
what the background's gonna be. So I really need to go find some sort of background on where this guy could be climbing up to. So there might be something fun that we could add. I'm trying to look for an image that has sort of a natural ledge that I could use to hook the ladder to so we wouldn't need to keep these brown lines. I feel like this image might work. The cat is smaller, which is nice. I feel like proportionally to the rest of the photo, we could crop it down and it would be sort of a nice size. I did find this house, which I thought maybe we could hook the ladder onto this ledge. So let's try that and see what it would look like. This image might work too, in terms of, you know, the composition of it, but I feel like the cat image is funnier. Let's cut these extra lines off the ladder because I do think we're gonna eventually definitely need to do that. And I kind of want to see what it's gonna look like without them. All right, I got all those extra pieces off. So now I feel like we have a better idea of what this is gonna look like. Okay, we have the house image where we hook onto this rock wall. That's kind of interesting, but I do think that this cat one is gonna be a little bit more funny. <laughs> It's so funny. I feel like we just have to go with it. We just gotta pick this image because it's so funny. The fact that I'm laughing at it, I think means we did it. I think it's good. All right, I think this is perfect. Let's put this off to the side and work on maybe the couch with the bear scene. This is gonna be perfect. I just have to find the perfect bear for there. The perfect bear for there, ha. Ah. <laughs> so I found some incredible bear images. There's this one hibernating, which is just very cute. I found this half a bear who I thought maybe could be peeking out behind this divider back here. I also have this smaller bear who maybe I can add to the background. I'm thinking since I found a good amount of bears, I could maybe use a couple of them. And I also found these two bears, one is standing up and one is on all fours. They maybe could be somewhere on the scene. I'm thinking since we're going all in on the bear thing, maybe we should just use a lot. But the piece de resistance, I found this grizzly bear who definitely looks like he could be sitting down. I definitely can finagle this image to get him to be sitting on this couch. And I am so excited about this one. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these cut out and we'll see how they fit in the scene. And I'm very excited about our little bear interview. <laughs> it's so good. Whoa, he's huge. I don't know why I didn't think this guy was gonna be so big. He's so large. Um, is this gonna work? Should we be sitting in this chair instead? Oh boy, I thought this guy was perfect, but he's kind of big. Oh boy, okay, maybe not him. I think the rest of them look pretty good in the scene. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find one more bear. I thought he was gonna be perfect. I think he's too big. So it's actually a couple days later. One of my favorite things to do is to step away from a piece and come back with fresh eyes. I feel like that's a really good way to make sure you really love a piece or maybe come up with a different idea. If you're sort of struggling with what to do, anyway, stepping away and coming back I think is great. And what I've realized is I originally found this bear and thought he was gonna fit perfectly on this couch, but he's just too big and doesn't work there. But I do think him over here on the chair especially if I cut out the arm and so I can really tuck him in the chair. As soon as I put the bear here, I think that he actually balances her out really well in that chair. And I don't think I need to force him to sit on the couch. I think him sitting on the chair is perfect. So the other thing I wanna just see is I like this bear back here peeking out behind this divider thing, but 
I think that maybe it's maybe it might be a little bit too cluttered. So I wanted to take it out just to see. I think that the intention I want to get across with this piece is more that they're having sort of a fun day with bears in the park. Maybe it's like an interview with bears and it's not a scary thing. And I think this bear hiding behind here was a little bit on the scary side. Now, I think there's just a couple finishing things we need to do. I want to integrate this bear into the chair and maybe the coffee table a little bit, but we'll see. And then I think this piece is going to be done and I'm <laughs> really excited about it and I think it's hilarious and I love how many bears there are. Now I did want to try to use our piano lady and the sheet music and I do still want to try to do this so I think I'm going to cut our lady out get the sheet music, and then I think I wanna to try to find one more thing that has color in it. Because both of these are black and white, I would love to then have one other piece of color. Um, and I'm really not <laughs> entirely sure how this is gonna to come together, but let's get this lady cut out and look through the stack again for something else to add to this and uh, see if we can make something. All right, here's an idea. So I found this landscape here and I'm thinking if we take the lady, piano lady, and put her down here in the corner, what if we took out this river down here and replaced it with music notes, with the sheet music, and maybe somehow <laughs> created some sort of path from the piano down to the river so we can connect the two elements? I'm not entirely sure what that could look like, but that's a possibility. So let's start cutting into this image and see what this looks like. If it doesn't look good, we can try to figure out something else, but let's at least try to see if it looks like anything. <laughs> What do we think of this? What if we took maybe a strip of the music and used that to wind from the river to the piano? Oh man, I don't know. Or maybe down here in the river, instead of keeping the sheet music just sort of flat and straight, just one layer, maybe we can cut it apart and sort of layer it on top of each other. So it's sort of just a flowing river of music notes rather than just sort of a flat section of the sheet music. That might be interesting. Let's just do it. Let's be daring. I wonder if I wanted to make a 3D collage, if I could take the music and slip it sort of where the sheet music is up here on the piano, have it come out from there and then arch into the river. <laughs> I don't know how I would make that happen, but I kind of like the idea of that. Hmm, lots to think about, lots to think about. I'm gonna cut out this area down here near the piano just to see what it would look like with the sheet music coming out of it. Just because I do kind of think that's an interesting idea. So this might work if we have the connection from the sheet music to here into the river and then we do what I was saying and chop up the sheet music maybe into strips and then we align the strips sort of uh, randomly in the stream. So this strip is sort of just adding to that strip of music strips. Oh boy. I don't know, but I think this is a cool idea. I'm going to go with it because I think that this is going to be cool. Let's just... We're just doing it today. I'm making all of the decisions and we're just gonna go, go, go.
I think this is cool. Oh, this is exciting. And it's also so different than anything I've ever really made before. I mean, I've never used sheet music before in a collage. And I also don't usually sort of create pieces that look like this, but it's, this is exciting. I really like it. I just need to borrow the end of that piece so we can fill in some of the last gaps here. I really like this. I am shocked at how much I like this. I think we're done. Like, I, I don't think we should add anything else unless we want to, wait. Okay, I, what? I didn't even notice this. The name of this song is called Sightseeing. And this lady is, she's sightseeing while playing the sightseeing song. It's perfect. You can't ask for better than that. I can't believe that's the name of this song. This is great. I just need to glue this down and we are done. I love it. It's so great to meet you. So great to meet you. This is so exciting. Um, I, I loved the package that you sent me just as a as a starter. It was so cool to see. And I don't know if you felt the same way, but these are pieces that I would have never picked out for myself, but in a good way. Yeah. So I feel like it was just something that really like pushed me and stuff. And um, when I was doing my like initial going through the papers and stuff, I also wanted to do it with a little bit of like thinking about you and what you would do, which is kind of funny mm -hmm. just because I had like, different works like I, I don't work with as much I guess like you have like more nature themes and kind of mm -hmm. like quirky animals and, and that sort of thing so I definitely tried yep. to work that um idea into mine as well so I'm really excited to show you the pieces that I've put together <laughs> I'm so excited to see them let's jump into it oh my god okay so the first one is I'll show you this one so I'm gonna say I started off in my safe space so I found the life magazine that you gave me mm -hmm. um <gasps> Oh, I, I love that. Let's get into it. Like you said, I loved all the different images you picked and there were some really different things in there that I was like, whoa, what is this? I've never even seen this before. And so it was just really cool to sort of go through everything and just have some like fresh things that I wouldn't have picked out, which I love. So I made three pieces and I'll start with probably the wackiest. I found there was this poker table with, um, I thought there was a perfect place for someone to be crawling out of that. So there was this scuba diver climbing, climbing up on a ladder. And so he's climbing into the cat scene. I love it. That's so funny. <laughs> I saw that cat picture and I was like, I gotta give this to her. There were so many cats. There's also a cat on the back. <laughs> there were so many cats and I knew I had to use one of them because they were just so cute. <laughs> My grandmother had like a collection of vanity fur, it's called, or whatever. So oh, fun. Vanity fur and, and some other encyclopedia cat things. So I was like, these are so funny. So it actually inspired me. I was at a book, a library book sale a couple days ago. It inspired me. I found a cat book there. It was like an older, it's all pictures of black and white cats. And I was like, yep, that's mine. There are a lot of cats in my future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. And it definitely has like, you know, the, the fun of your usual pieces, like the humor mm -hmm. sense and, and that sort of thing. I love it. <laughs> yep. So this next piece is actually a little bit different. So I found there was sheet music in here and that was something that I've always sort of thought about using, but it doesn't quite go with my like normal style. So I've never quite been sure how to use it. So I saw that in the pile and really wanted to use it. And there was also a piano player so oh, yeah. what I did was take this like landscape and cut the river out and then put the sheet music in sort of like a texture type thing and then have the sheet music coming out of the piano into the river. That is so cool. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so it's like graphic, but there's also lots of texture. And I don't know, I just thought it was kind of a cool concept. Yeah, I think it's super cool. And I think the music papers, some of them are from like the 19, like 20s type thing. Like they're super, mm -hmm. super old ones too. So I feel like they're... Yeah. And great. It's great that they found like a home and you've modernized them so like interestingly. So mm -hmm. that's so cool. I love and, the piano player too. Yeah. And I noticed when I like as I was finished wrapping this up that the title of the song for this was Sightseeing, which I thought was a really perfect, yeah, it was a perfect song because she's sort of sightseeing and playing music for this canyon. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, that one I thought turned out really well. This last piece, I used two pieces from your pile, but then 
went into my own supplies and found some fun animals that I had to add to the scene. <laughs> so this is a little living room scene where this lady's having, I guess, tea with bears. Oh my gosh, it's Goldilocks. <laughs> yep, and she's just hanging out with all the bears. So I thought this guy fit really well on this chair here. And I just thought it was really fun. I love it. He's so funny in the chair. Yeah, it's so it's so amazing when pieces just fit well together. And mm -hmm. this one 100% fits. Like, yeah, because like these, supposed to be there. these two bears are in the scene. Right. So I just added a couple others. That's amazing. I love it. A little tea party uh, for bears. <laughs> right? I, who, what, what could be better than that? <laughs> well, those are like some super fun pieces. I love those. Mm -hmm. Yep. So those are the three that I made and this was such a fun challenge and thank you again for agreeing to do this with me. Thank you, that was like amazing and I feel like I have so many more pieces left that I, I'm really interested in using and stuff in the future. So it's nice to get like a new haul of things that I wouldn't have, you know, done for myself too. Exactly, yeah, no, it was perfect. I loved it so much. Well, that's it for today's video. This was such an incredibly fun process. If you have a friend who also likes to collage, I highly recommend exchanging some images, create a little package for each other and see if you can make something fun with what they sent you. It was incredibly fun. And thank you again to Leah for joining me on this adventure. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>